Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the actinoids and now in this topic we are going to talk about the electronic configuration of actinium as well as the actinoids. So now let us understand that how we can write the electronic configuration of those elements. So now let us understand the elements that are being present as the actinoids. So for that we have so in that we have got to know that is actinium is present in the seventh period and the third group. While talking about the other elements that are being present in the seventh and the third group are basically they are actinoids. And those actinoids starts with the first element that is thorium and it ends with laurentium. So what are the elements that is what we have? That is we have thorium, we have protactinium, we have uranium, neptunium, plutonium, americium, curium, berkelium, californium, anstenium, fermium, mendelevium, nobelium and laurentium. So based on that we have to write the electronic configuration of actinium as well as the actinoids. So how we can write the electronic configuration and what is the general electronic configuration? This is what we are going to talk about in this topic. So for that we have understood that is the general electronic configuration for actinium as well as the actinoids can be written as. So it consists of that is R and that is radon. So since it is a 5F series element, so that's the reason it will have 5F, 6D and 7S orbitals. But this 7S orbital, it will be completely filled with two electrons. So talking about the D orbital, so D orbital can accommodate the electrons ranging from 0 to 1. So there are also some cases where we can find the abnormal electronic configuration compared to that of this general electronic configuration. So talking about the F orbital, so the F orbital will compose of that is 1 to 14 electrons so based on that this is basically the general electronic configuration and based on that let us understand the electronic configuration of actinium first so talking about the electronic configuration of actinium so we can write the electronic configuration as radon then it would be 5f 6d and 7s so the s orbital consists of two electrons so talking about the electron filling we understand that is the actinium consists of 89 electrons. So in that case, the extra electron, it will not get added up to the F orbital. In fact, it will get added up to the D orbital. And that's the reason the electronic configuration is radon 5F0, 6D1, 7S2. Here basically the 5F and 6D orbital, they have almost the same energy. And that's the reason that electron doesn't get filled up to the F orbital. It goes to the D orbital. Suppose if F consists of 0 electrons or F orbital consists of 7 electrons or F orbital consists of 14 electrons, then only the electronic configuration it will be very much stable. So in that case, the electron doesn't enter the F orbital. It enters in the D orbital, that is 6D orbital. So therefore, this is the electronic configuration of actinium. And now let me discuss about the electronic configuration of thorium that is the first actinoid. So talking about the electronic configuration of thorium, so we could write it here as radon. This one would be 5F, 6D and this one would be 7S which would be occupied with two electrons. And now let us talk about the electron filling. So here we have already 6D1, that means one electron will get added up. So it can get added up to the 5F orbital or it can get added up to the 6D orbital. So as we have discussed earlier, that is the F orbital, it is very much stable if it consists of zero electrons. So in that case, here the F will be zero, having zero electrons and the extra electron, it will get added up to the 6D orbital. And this is the actually abnormal electronic configuration for thorium. And now in this case, it is 5F0, 6D2, 7S2. And now let me discuss about the next one that is for protactinium. So in that case, we could write the electronic configuration as radon. 5F, 6D and 7S2. So here the D orbital will consist of one electron and while the rest of the electron it will get filled up in the F orbital and that's the reason the, the electron will be here as 2. So it is 5F2, 6D1 and 7S2 and now let me talk about that is uranium. So talking about uranium we could write the electronic configuration as radon 5F 6d 7s2 so here also the electron will be filled up in such a way that is the d orbital will consist of one electron and the f orbital will consist of three electrons so now let us talk about the next one that is for neptunium so for neptunium we could write the electronic configuration as rn this would be 5f 6d 7s2 
So in this case, the d orbital will consist of one electron and the f orbital will consist of four electron. And now let us move on to the next one. So talking about the next one that is plutonium. So we can write the electronic configuration as radon 5f 6d 7s2. But in the previous one that is in neptunium, we have got to know that is the number of electrons in the f orbital it is 5f4 and also in that is 6d orbital it was one electron. But in this case, we also understand that is the d orbital will be stable if it consists of zero electrons. So that's the reason that the electron will not get added up in the d orbital. In fact, here it will be vacant. The d orbital will be vacant and all the extra electron it will get added up in the f orbital making that is six electrons to be filled in the f orbital. And now let me talk about the next one that is for americium. So for americium, so we have radon 5f 6d 7s2. So here also the same situation will happen where the d electron where the d orbital will consist of zero electron and f orbital will consist of seven electron and in this case the 5f orbital as well as the 6d orbital the both are stable because the 5f orbital is half filled with seven electrons and 6d is basically incomplete so even this is very much stable and now let me talk about the next one that is for curium for curium it has been found that is the electronic configuration we could write it here as radon 5f 6d 7s2 but here the electron doesn't gets added up in the the last electron doesn't gets added up in the 5f orbital in fact in fact it will get added up in the 6d orbital and all those seven electrons will be in this orbital only and that's the reason even this is very much stable right now so now let me talk about the next one that is for berkelium so for berkelium it will be radon 5f 6d and this one would be 7s2 and for berkelium it would be that is here basically there will be no electron in the d orbital and all those extra electrons it will get added up in the 5f orbital so that for acquiring nine electrons in the 5f orbital so talking about the next one that is for californium so in that case it will be rn 5f 6d 7s2 so in this case also the number of electrons that will be remaining in the 6d it will be zero and now here there will be 10 electrons in the f orbital so now let me talk about the next one so the next is einsteinium so in that case we could write the electronic configuration as radon 5f 6d 7s2 so here there will be no electrons in the d orbital and the electron will get it added up in the 5f orbital so in the previous one it was 10 and now here it will be 11. So similarly we could write the electronic configuration for fermium and it will be 5f12 6d0 7s2 for mendelevium so it will be radon 5f13 6d0 7s2 for nobelium it will be radon 5f14 6d0 7s2 because here also the f orbital is now completely filled and the d orbital is vacant so that's the reason extra stability would be acquired by this element and now let me talk about the last one that is for lawrencium it would be radon 5f14 because there is no extra electron that could be occupied in the f orbital if it is already been filled so that's the reason the last electron it will get added up in the d orbital here and this one would be 7s2 so therefore this was nothing but the electronic configuration of actinium as well as the actinoids and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe ikra channel thank you so much